everybody, my name is Grace and welcome back to the Catnip Podcast. Today is Thursday, December 1st. We're in December, it's almost Christmas, um, which is really exciting. Um, this is a podcast about knitting and hand-dyed yarn and sometimes spinning and just like life stuff in general. Um, if you want to grab a tasty drink or something, I have my tea that is out of frame currently and maybe some crafts. Um, let's just sit down and have a really good chat. This week, um, I am recording on Thursday because I'm going out of town tomorrow, which is Friday, December 2nd, when I'm recording this. When you see this, it will have already happened. Um, but, so I'm going out of town and I won't have time to record on Friday, which I normally record on Friday. But this episode will still go up on Saturday, which is really good. You're just, you guys are still going to have your episode every, or on Saturday, which is really good. Um, secondly... I'm in a new location. Where am I, you might think. I'm actually sitting on my bed, and above me I have a wonderful bookcase with fairy lights and two little sheepies. These are actually sheep. Um, why I have them up there, I don't know. I put them up there maybe two years ago or something, but I like them, so that's where they're gonna stay until I move. I also have a white one. Um, so that's exciting. Um, I the camera is like balanced on like a tray table on my bed. So if it is like ever so slightly wobbly, that is why I'm gonna try and like prevent any kind of wobbliness. Um, but if it is slightly wobbly, I do apologize. Um, thirdly, I have a bunch of new subscribers, and I don't really know where you guys have come from. I'm very behind in watching my podcast, so I might have gotten mentioned somewhere. If that is the case, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I have, like, so many new followers, and it's so wonderful. I've got new comments. It's really great, and it's just like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So it's it just means a lot to me, and I'm really excited about that. So if you are new, welcome. This is this is my podcast. Um, I will give you some more information about me in a little bit. If you are returning, welcome back, like I said. Um... So, a little bit about me. Like I said at the beginning of the podcast, my name is Grace. I um, just graduated college uh, back in August. And actually, these facts, if you are returning, you might not even know these things. So, everyone's going to learn something. Um, I just graduated college in August, so that's really exciting. Um, I graduated from Texas A&M University, which is in College Station, Texas. Um, so, yeah. Um... My degree was in international studies, if that is any useful or important or interesting information to you, that is what I graduated in. Um, I had a minor in business and in French, so that's cool. Um, I'm getting married in January, which is uh, January 14th to be exact, which is about 43 days away, but who's counting? Uh, which is just right around the corner. I know the holidays are going to make it go really, really quickly. Um, there's been a lot of wedding stuff going on lately. Uh, I have been knitting for about 10 years-ish, something like that. I've had a blog for a really long time, but then just at the beginning of the summer, I decided to take it to the, excuse me, <laughs> take it to the next level and, um, have a podcast and then also start my own hand-dyed yarn business online, which is Cat Knit Yarns, which you can find in all the various social media locations and show notes locations which can be found on my blog if you are on my blog they will be down below if you are on youtube they will still be down below they're just in the description or the link to the show notes is in the description i should say that um let's see what else i'm 23 if that's useful or interesting information um i have a cat uh, he is the, the cat that inspired the name of the podcast and the, the yarn. Um, his name is Birdie, unfortunately. He does not live with me currently. He lives with my parents. But once, um, my fiancé and I move to where we are going to live after we're married, we're gonna, um, take my cat. So that's really exciting. I'm very happy, happy, happy about that. His name is Birdie. Birdie Wooster. It's not Birdie, it's Bertie with the T, not a D. Um easy mix-up. It sounds the same. 
Anyway, so if you have any questions, there is a Ravelry group, um, and I am very, very bad about updating it. I do apologize for that, um, but if you have any questions or any comments or whatever, please feel free and go to this group and um, all that jazz. On with the knitting. I have gotten so much Christmas knitting done you would not believe. It is insane. I'm getting ready to sneeze. Ho ho. Woo. Excuse me. So yes, I got, I just sneezed. I have so much Christmas ending to show you, which is really exciting. Um, obviously the names will be named because I don't know if these people watch the podcast and I don't want them to know what they're getting. So that's completely understandable. Starting off with the finished object, I have a pair of fingerless gloves with the thumb. Um, I just decided to do the thumb because, you know, why not? Um, and it was just like, I can, I can do this really easily, just go ahead and finish it off. So, you will notice that the colors on the cuffs are different because I wanted it to be that way. Also, the thumbs are different colors. How cool is that? So these are the um, warmest mitten pattern, and I don't remember who, who that's by. I think it might be by the Yarn Harlot, but I don't remember for certain. Um, that will be in the show notes. I knit this out of um, Knit Picks Wool of the Andes, and the it's the dark color is cobblestone, and the the lighter gray. I don't remember what that is, but it will be in the show notes. Um, I think it might be something like... I don't even remember. I mean, I know, I know, I'm not, <laughs> I know I'm not gonna remember, so. Those are done. Those, I knit both of them in about, like, maybe ten, six hours. Spread over two days. So I got, it took me two days, but I could have knit both pairs, or both, both gloves in one day. So, that's done. When Christmas present is done, or another one I should say. So let's see. I'm also working on this cowl, which I showed you guys last week, um, which is living in my Suburban Stitcher Pumpkin Spice Latte bag, which is mighty fun and so wonderful. I also have nail polish in here. That's fun. I need to do my nails later, that would be good. Um, so, in this bag, I am making the gentile, or the gentle, I don't think it's French, I don't know if it's French, I like, I know there is a version of that word in French, but like, I don't know if the pattern, um, if it is supposed to be French or if it's supposed to be a different language, um, and that's really okay. So this is min this has had a lot of progress, mainly because we have been, I have been to about three or four movies recently, um, and this is mighty fine movie knitting. I will say though, okay, so when I started this, oh, do I have the needles with me? I think I do. I do. Hallelujah. Okay. So when I started this, I was really excited because I had just gotten a pair of the I also have the package. No, I don't. The the Knitter's Pride, like, the cubes. Um, don't focus on... Focus? There we go. So they're cubes, or they're square. And, like, I am very late to the, to the game and that, like, in using these. Um, because I remember when they came out and everyone was like, oh my goodness, these are square knitting needles. Like, it's either going to, like, change the way we knit or it's going to be like, what is this? This is weird. Um, which I know it boiled down to personal preference. Some people liked them, some people didn't. This is a six. This is also a six. And, like, they don't look like the same size. Um, so I started off with this. And, like, my gauge... It's just this, it's this full garter stitch, um, area down here that I knit with these. Like, that's so significantly tighter than this garter stitch area right there. And, like, 
there's nothing wrong with that but that was not the gauge or the fabric that I was looking for so I just went ahead and changed to regular ones that's nothing wrong with the needles it's it was just not what I was looking for um, I just have to be or I have to remember that when I knit with these this does not knit necessarily like a six it knits probably like a four a five or a four probably a four um so I like the needles I'm using now they're just I do have the package for those they're like just regular clover and I know it says seven but it's actually a six I put a six in the seven um package because that's what you do when you don't got the right package or the right needles apparently um so that's that's that and I so from the guard the bottom of the garter to the top of the lace portion is one repeat um and then so I do that the whole repeat thing I think two more times maybe three more times um and then I join the ends together with either a grafting or I might do a three needle wind off just because I know I'm not going to be able to do a good grafting job and it'll be a small seam anyway so I'm really loving this the pattern is super easy to memorize and it's just it's very it's a very therapeutic knit because it goes quickly and it's like I can sit down and be like okay I'm gonna get one one of these lace sections done before I get up and then I've made a lot of progress because like that's a big chunk of the pattern um so I love this I am definitely going to be making one of these for myself this I'm knitting this out of my Lintosh Merino Light in the Aura colorway um which I love my Lintosh there's that can do no wrong it is so wonderful and the color is perfect it's like a beautiful it's very it's actually this light is turning out really really perfect I think this is a really good location um yeah it's showing up pretty accurately it's like a blue genie like a washed out denim color and with like a hint of gray and then maybe slightly a uh, slight undertone of purple so I love it it's going to be perfect. I'm so excited about it. That's another Christmas knit that is going well. The last one that I have to show you has also been going very well. I knit on it. I knit during, I forget which movie we saw we were seeing. But I knit on this and on the Cow I'll Just Show You John to You at the, or not at the same time. But like I ran out of yarn for this thing and then I... I knew I was going to run out of yarn, so I brought two knitting projects because you got to be prepared like that, especially in a movie situation because that's just no fun. I actually ran out of yarn like four stitches short, which was kind of a bummer, but that's okay. So this is going to be kind of the same thing, like a infinity cowl that is seamed at the end. Um, it's just cabled instead of lace. And I'm using different yarn and different needles. So this is using the Knit Picks Big O, which is super fun. And I need to wind up some more yarn so I can continue working on this because Christmas is just right around the corner. Um, and I forget what colorway this is in, but I will post that in the show notes. And then this is the Knit Picks like, interchangeable needles that are wonderful. And I happen to have the right size. Um, I think I mentioned last week that the pattern calls for a 17. I started off doing that and it was just way too sloppy. Or it wasn't sloppy necessarily, but again, it was not the gauge that I was looking for. It was not the fabric that I was looking for, so I went down um, maybe one or two needle sizes. So, that being said, it is much more dense. It is perfect for this person that I'm knitting this for. It, this person is going to love it, I hope. And it's going to be great. And um, that being said, I have a lot to do. I have maybe two more skeins of the big O. So I just, I need to do two more these lengths, which does take a while. I just need to go to more movies. <laughs> that's, that's the answer to the problem. Um, so, because I have so much free time right now. It's just so much free time. 
I say that sarcastically, I'm incredibly busy. Um, so this, um, it's also, I forget the name of the pattern, it's like Funky Chunky Cowl or something like that. It's, um, or maybe not, I don't know. It's, it's one of, it's a, yeah, it's a free pattern on Ravelry, but you have to, like, go to the pattern website and, like, download it that way. Um, you can't download it directly from Ravelry if you have a problem with that. But it's, it's not that big a deal. It's very easy to do. Um, so... It's a nice pattern. It's very easy to memorize as well, and um, it knits up really quickly. So, yeah. Plus, it's really squishy and it's soft, and it's not fuzzing too much. I thought it might fuzz a lot or pill, the more technical term. It's not pilling at all. <clears throat> so, that is it for Christmas knitting so far. I have an entire box that is still full of Knit Picks yarn that I still have to knit. Um, but it will get done. Um, the, I just, right before I started recording, I checked my email and I got, uh, the Tin Can Knits newsletter and there was a, she's doing like, it's like a mitten, the warmest, or like some kind of mitten pattern that she has and she's having like a hackathon, a hackathon, um, opposed to like actually doing a hackathon which involves computers. What you do is you take her mitten pattern and then you add like stripes or like a stitch pattern or cables or anything you want and then I think there's, um, she's got a prize or a contest thing in her Ravelry group and then there's also a hashtag which I don't remember what it is but it will be included in the show notes because I'm definitely interested because I have another pair of mittens that I need to make um, that I plan to do some fancy stuff on. So that just works out perfectly. Um, so that's really great. Uh, I highly recommend checking that out. It will be linked in the show notes. Um, that being said, all this Christmas knitting, I am feeling the Christmas knitting. I don't know about you guys, you because you probably guys are probably smarter than I am in that you started your Christmas knitting a long, long time ago. You spread it out so you could also have your personal knitting, which is what I'm really feeling the lack of. Um, that being said, I love knitting for people. It's not that I don't like knitting for people. I just miss knitting things that I know I will get to use or like more fancy yarn or like colors that I really, really love. So, I have, so I have these two sock blanks that are part of the Stranded um, Dye Work Sock Club um, that I have, and I really, I kind of want to do socks. Like, I haven't done socks in forever. I'm not really a sock person because I have really tiny feet, and so it's kind of hard to sometimes to get just like the regular sock patterns don't necessarily fit the way that I want them to. Um, which I know I can figure that out just by needle size and numbers and all that kind of stuff, but that's math and I don't like that. <laughs> um, which is just me being lazy. But I have been inspired by the, um, the Hey Sisters podcast. They, um, recently, I think Tabby knit a pair of socks on like a nine inch circular and that looked really, really fun. And so my mom and I ordered, um, sorry, there are cars going by. I have a window that is just right over there and the car's going by. Um, and my mom and I ordered two pairs of the nine inch circulars. We got a three and then we got a one. Um, Cause we do like, my, my mom also has the same problem. Our feet are small. And so we like, we came up with this pattern using um size threes that like do fit our feet um and so pattern socks have just kind of been like off limits just because that's that's math I don't want to do and like it's Texas like we don't really wear socks like that a whole lot or I don't anyway but I'm like I I get in these moods where I'm like I want to make socks again like I need to figure this out because I'm missing out on all these pattern socks and they're so cool I'm in one of those moods right now, so I I am going to possibly use one of these um, sock blanks because I've actually never knit from a sock blank either, and I think that would be a lot of fun. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. There's this was the first one, and then this was the second one, which I love. The, I love both of them, but like this is amazing. And again, this is from Stranded Dye Works. 
Look, that's blowing out. Bum, bum, bum. Can we get this? Stranded. That works. There we go. So, that is from Amy. She lives over in England and she's very sweet and I love her yarn so much. Um, I showed some of her yarn last week that I want to knit with as well. There's just so many things I want to knit, but first of all, Christmas knitting has to happen. Ugh, oh, alas. But not alas, because it's still my fun. Also, I know I'm not the only person who loves David's tea, because interestingly enough, um, Facebook told me about David's tea because of the ways the internet works, um, and then, like, everyone started talking about David's tea. I don't know how that worked out, but it was like everyone must have seen the same thing or like everyone has always been a fan of David's tea. And this is just making it smell so good right now. Um, I'll just cut right to the chase. I have the 24 days David's tea. 24 days of tea. It's an advent calendar of loose tea. And let me open this. amazing like I mean I know today is December 1st but like the whole thing smells so good and then on the back it gives you what all you're getting in order I believe so today because today is December 1st and I am not one of those people who opens up heaven calendars before December 1st <laughs> um I had my first cup of tea this morning, and I have it right here in my Starbucks mug. It's very delicious. So what I am drinking currently is called Snow Day, which has peppermint leaves, cocoa beans, cocoa, chocolate drops, chocolate dro drops, drops um, white chocolate pieces, cocoa butter, and a lot of peppermint stuff and it's from Germany so it's very like on the back what I really appreciate and I didn't actually know this or notice this um, so it comes in like these little tins of the tea and like it gave me a lot of tea like I know I'm not like brewing a pot of tea but this would still be like ample for maybe two pots of tea this I only need like needed one little um maybe like half a teaspoon one teaspoon for my little um infuser but there's just so much tea in there and it just it's gonna last for forever and it's so cute and then on the back it says snow day if I can get that there we go or jour de neige which I don't know if my pronunci pronunciation is correct but I apologize to French speakers if it is not. I feel like it should be pretty close, but I don't know. Anyway, on the bottom of these, of the little thingies, it gives you all the information. Please focus. There we go. Which I think is really cool. So, it gives you the name again, and then it says herbal infusion, and then it tells you, like, for a 16 ounce, um, one to two perfect spoons, so I guess that's what you need. Um, for the water, it says near boiling, um, four to seven minutes to steep, and then low caffeine. And then it gives you a one for, like, the low caffeine, um, amount. And, like, that is so cool. I think that's a really neat way to, like, tell people what is in things. I'm going to see what number two is, what the bottom, jumpy monkey. Oh, it's a five. Oh, no, that's not a five, it's a stimulant, so it must be full of caffeine. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I won't look at it anymore because I didn't want to look at it. But, um, I think there might also be like a picture because there's like different stuff on the other side. So you have like the one on the one side and then on the back you have like a thing. So I wonder if you turn around these, these boxes around and if you like can make a picture. That would be fun. And then also you have like 
these cute oh these cute mice they're so cute anyway like this is literally the coolest advent calendar calendar i think i've ever had i'm so excited about this i love tea they also have a hashtag like that's so cool hashtag is like right up there and it's in french too which i greatly appreciate being a french wine open the door to a different tea every day no peeking, the surprise is worth it. I think they say that and then like they have the list of stuff um, on the back. But there's no way that you would know that it's in order. It is in order. Spoilers. So that's, I'm very, very excited about that. Oh, I am almost out of memory. I am just now seeing that. Okay, so I will speed this up. Um, Anyway, so that is that. A lot of Christmas knitting. I wanted to do some personal knitting, some stuff at the beginning. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for giving me some time out of your day. I hope you had a good time um, just listening or crafting or drinking tea or relaxing, whatever. Um, thank you to all you returning viewers. Welcome to all you new guys. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Um, I will be back next week with a new episode. Uh, in regards to yarn dyeing and updates, I don't know when that is going to happen. I am very busy right now, but I'm going to figure that out and then I will probably, I will post it somewhere. It will be posted, I promise. Um, but at this moment, I don't know. Um, but that's okay. I'll, it'll, be, it'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It'll be okay. Um, and yeah, I just hope you guys have a wonderful weekend you had a wonderful week i hope you get a lot of knitting done i hope you get a lot of christmas sitting done i hope that's being successful hope you won't be crafting on christmas eve like me um like me probably um so i will see you guys later bye